be talking about foot and mouth disease. Foot and mouth disease is a highly contagious virus. It has huge impacts for the, the um, countries that have been unfortunate enough to have outbreaks, and it is all around the United States. We have vigorous trade with all of our other partners, and it, it could very easily be introduced into this country. We do have safeguards to keep it out. They've been pretty darn effective, if I say so myself, but should it come into this country, um, it will have huge impacts on our agricultural um, commodities. In particular, anything with um, cloven feet, so cattle, sheep, goats, pigs. So we do want to be prepared. It hasn't happened in almost 100 years. Um, we're hoping it won't happen for a very long time in the future, but should it, should it occur in this country, it will have devastating impacts. So low frequency, high consequence means it's something that we should think about um, to the appropriate degree. So then the next question is, okay, so I understand that. It's something that it should be on my radar screen. Well, what can I do? What would be a practical thing for me to do? And there's some simple things that every producer could do that will help them be more prepared in the face of an event. One thing is, just keep your connections up to your business organizations and your veterinarian. Um, the business organizations are a great source of information. They're a great source of information before a major problem. They can help you get more information about the disease. And then in the event of a major catastrophe, really no matter what it is, your business organizations and other publications can really provide some accurate information to you. Another thing you could do is, um, is learn what to recognize. So, when it, so, so foot and mouth disease, the reason it's so, such a bad thing is it spreads so fast. And so the faster you recognize it, the easier it is to control it. So think about a fire. So if you can, if there's a forest fire starting, let's say at a campfire, if you can put out that campfire, you can easily control the situation. It will have very small impacts. But if it spreads, it can get out of control very quickly. Eventually, it'll be found, it'll be noticed, but at that point, it's going to be very hard to control. So it's really important that the producers know what to look for. You can find that from multiple websites, or your veterinarian can help you with that. So know the signs of foot and mouth disease, and know who to call should you see them. My first call would always be my veterinarian because there's, you know, that's kind of, you have a trust relationship that can help you work out those things. But also, if that's not an option, know who your state animal health official is and know their phone number so that if you see a problem, you can report it right away. Like I said, it eventually is going to get out there and everybody's going to know about it. So the sooner you can notify someone, the better it's going to be for everyone. <laughs>